Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In a previous video, we have added actions column to the employees table and we have also added update employee button. Once user click on update button, user should be able to navigate to update employee page and we have made get employee by REST API call and we have populated a employee information in update employee page. Now, in this video, what we'll do, we'll make update employee REST API call from React application and we'll send updated employee information to update employee REST API and update employee REST API internally store uh, information into a database. Okay, so let's head over to Visual Studio Code ID and let's write a code to make a REST API call. So in VS Code ID, go to employee service and let's go and let's create a method update employee and let's pass first argument as employee id second argument as employee object so employee object basically contains employee updated information and here again we are going to use axios object and we are going to call put method here because we are making a put http request and post argument we need to pass a url in our case we have employee base rest api url and we need to pass the id in a base url right so go ahead and append the id okay and next second parameter the employee object perfect now let's head over to add employee component and within add employee component we have save employee method so within a save employee method we are going to write a logic to perform both save employee and update employee we will first of all rename to this method because this method does two functionalities one is to save employee and another is update employee so let me rename this method save or update employee and let me copy this and go to go to bottom and here you can see button so here i'm going to paste it all right now what we need to do is we're gonna add a condition over here if id id contains some value then we are going to make update employee rest api call right or else we're going to simply copy this code and put it in a else part okay now go to if condition and here we are going to making a call to update employee method first argument we're going to pass id second argument we're going to pass employee object so this is the employee object we are going to pass and then call then method and just handle the response over here response and just use arrow function okay we can use a catch block here to just you know handle the error and just log the error console.log that's it now once the user update the employee user should be able to navigate to you know the uh, employees list page for that what we're going to do is we're going to use a history object for the navigation history dot push and then we're going to use slash employees that's it well let's save all the files and let's go back to chrome browser and let's verify whether our update employee functionality is working or not so go to chrome browser and let me refresh and we are going to update first employee with the name ram so go ahead and click on update now let me update first name from ram to ram123 let me update last name jada123 ram123 at gmail.com click on submit and there you go ram employee successfully updated okay let me update one more employee let me update second employee first name let me update from john to john123 from sina to sina123 sina123 at the rate gmail.com hit submit there we go all right it means that our update employee functionality is working as expected okay guys in next video we will create delete employee rest api and then we will consume delete employee rest api in our react application 
All right, guys. I will see you in the next video.